हेलो एवरीवन मेरी नेम है सुप्रिया कुमार मैं इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ये मैं सबसे मिलती हूं इसके लिए बहुत वेरियस अल्गोरिथम्स यूज्ड फॉर सेलेक्ट ऑपरेशन सो इन दी नेमस बाय यूजिंग वी कैन इवन से हैविंग द कमांड्स फॉर रिट्रीविंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटाबेस एंड सेलेक्ट ऑपरेशन सेलेक्ट कमांड इज यूज्ड फॉर फेचिंग एंड डिस्प्लेइंग द डेटा दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन योर डेटाबेस सो हियर आई विल बी सीइंग various algorithms were used for selecting a data from the database so the first one is by using linear search algorithm here you will be having a search element that is your search element in this example 39 is your search element and this is the list of data or the data you are going to have in your uh, database so the in your linear search the search will be starting from the zeroth index and sequentially it will be moved to the next uh, index and sequentially it will be searching for the search element once the element has been matched with the data it will be saying whether your data is present or not or if you want to retrieve the data it will be retrieved that is 39 is present or not so this is how linear search works the next one is binary search in binary search you will be having a search element and you are going to have a set of uh, data present in your database so in your uh, binary search first the whole index will be divided into two so here you are going to uh, having 10 elements so that is uh, 0 to 9 here it will be divided at the middle at uh, and it will be compared with the search element if your search element is lesser than the mid, mid element it will be uh, searching at the left side and if the search element is greater than the middle element it will be searching in the right side so Uh, comparing with linear search and binary search in linear search all the elements will be uh, stored randomly but in case of binary search every element will be present in either ascending or descending order so it will be throughout the file will be in a ordered manner so after ordered manner so after uh, dividing into the middle element if the element search element is less than the middle element it will be searching in the left uh, left side if the element is greater than the middle element it will be searching in the right side same procedure will be continued till the search element is found so third algorithm is single record search using primary index so from the exa uh, example given here we can start so here we are saying the select star from employee for employee id equal to 9 so single record here by using this select algorithm you can fetch only one element at a time and by using a primary index we know that uh, if you are having a table any one column will be acting as a primary key primary index here is representing the primary key of the table so here employee id is a primary key so by using the primary key employee id you are going to fetch the data here as this is fetching only single element will be going with the equality comparison so the two major condition is you are going to use the equality condition and you are going to put a condition on primary key index so in single record search using primary index you can fetch only one element at a time and you are going to put condition on the primary key so here select star from employee where employee id equal to 9 so whichever uh, the employee with the id 9 will be displayed all the data of the employee id 9 will be displayed to the result the next algorithm is using a primary key index to retrieve multiple records so previously we saw how to retrieve single record using primary index here same by using a primary index you are going to retrieve multiple data at a time so multiple record in sense will be using the conditions like less than greater than or less than equal to greater than equal to so in single record will be going for equal uh, equality comparison here less than less than or uh, equal to greater or greater than equal to but by using the same primary index so in example we can see select star from employee where employee id is less than or equal to 10 so employee from id from 1 to 10 will be displayed so less than and equal to so start with 1 and 10 so employees from uh, id 1 to 10 all the data of this 10 employees will be displayed to the result so the next algorithm is using a clustering index to retrieve multiple records so same as the previous one here are, we are going to retrieve multiple records by using a cluster index in sense a non key attributes previously we saw for primary index 
that is primary key here we'll be going with the clustering index that is your non key attribute so we can see the example here select star from employee where employee city equal to chennai this is not a primary key here but though by using the conditions on cluster index you can retrieve the data by using you can retrieve multiple records here so instead of equal to you can go with less than or greater than less than or equal to or greater than equal uh, equal to also so the last algorithm is consecutive selection consecutive selection is nothing but you are going to combine two conditions together so previously for all the five algorithms we saw how to retrieve element using uh, the last three algorithm we saw uh, where the conditions are given in only one particular attribute but by using consecutive selection you can go with two or more conditions and then you can apply and you can get the result of a particular data so here the select star from employee where employee id equal to 9 and employee city equal to chennai if both these conditions are true true the data will be retrieved that is employee with the id 9 and uh, will 9 will be displayed and also employee city equal to chennai so in this condition what data will be displayed means uh, employee of id 9 the data all the data of employee id 9 will be displayed along with whichever employee resides at chennai those data, uh, that data will also be displayed in the output so here you are going to apply two conditions together and you are going to retrieve the data so this is about the algorithms for select operation we saw Uh, linear search, uh, binary search, and single record search using primary index. Here you can retrieve only one record by using the primary key. The next one using the primary index to retrieve multiple records. You can retrieve multiple records at a time by using the primary index. And the next one we saw about the clustering index to retrieve multiple records. Here also you can retrieve multiple records. But instead of giving the condition on primary key, you are going to give conditions on non-key attributes. The last one is consecutive selection. Here you are going to combine two or more conditions together, and you are going to retrieve the data. So this is about the algorithm for select operation. Thank you.